Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from the book of Proverbs. Proverbs 18, verse 12, and it says this. Before destruction, the heart of a man is halted, and before honor is humility. Throughout the Bible, you know, we see example after example of where uh, the principle of today's verse, it runs true, where pride leads to destruction, where humility is the pathway to uh, honor. This is one of the most important lessons that the Lord taught and modeled for his disciples uh, before his departure. I mean, if they didn't get this right, think of where the church would be today. In the book of Proverbs, wisdom is often portrayed as understanding the consequences of one's actions. Our verse, it contrasts pride and humility and their results. Pride is not just seen as arrogance, but a deliberate rejection of wisdom, often leading to uh, ruin or shame. Humility, on the other hand, is linked to submission to God and acknowledging our limitations, eventually leading to being exalted. While in seminary uh, at Shaw Divinity School, I remember one day we had this guest preacher. We were all excited. Uh, it was Dr. Gardner C. Taylor. He was known as one of the great preachers of his time. And as I recall, he was one of the top 10 preachers um, in America during that particular time. And a, a question came from the audience and they asked Dr. Taylor, he said, well, how is it, Dr. Taylor, that you've been able to obtain so much in your life and still remain so humble? And I remember his answer. He said, you know, when I think about God and who I am, he said, I'm not that much. No doubt that many people would have said that Dr. Taylor was a great man of God, but Dr. Taylor would have corrected him and said, no, I'm not a great man of God, but rather I'm just a man that serves a great God. <laughs> While our verse, you know, it runs, it runs uh, counter to our culture and society, a society that often encourages self-reliance, ambitions, and confidence, but that can be taken to the extreme, resulting in pride and arrogance. Many celebrate outward success uh, without recognizing the dangers of unchecked pride that can lead to moral, financial, and uh, relational collapse. How many times have we seen um, where celebrities, um, where we have seen politicians, CEOs, and other leaders fall due to some scandal or unethical behavior? In a world that often rewards self-promotion, the Bible teaches us that true honor comes from humility, and humility comes from recognizing our dependency upon God for guidance, for correction, for direction. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout your day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yeah, as we consider today's verse. Amen.